As a Tier 1 area, Caldwell County has some of the highest unemployment rates in the nation. Along with economic distress comes the hard reality of hunger for this struggling community. Heather Burgess takes us to Lenore, where we meet a 13-year-old who is growing seeds of kindness in a community garden, where children are sprouting change and encouraging others to plant a row for the hungry to increase food security for their neighbors. Let's head on up to the, to the potato garden. With muddy hands and curious eyes, students at Whitnell Elementary in Lenore tend to the garden they grew. Planting some lettuce, and I found a flag. Working on it so he can see. It's just I like seeds very, very, very much. With each bud and new vine, the children learn a little about where their food comes from, but they also help hungry people. I believe children want to do things that matter, just like us. They want to um, do things that are purposeful and meaningful, and the garden is that. So each group needs one set of cabbage. So you guys need to put one of your things of cabbage back. Behind these rows of veggies and fruit is the heart of 13-year-old Daniela Berry and this eighth grader's mission to use gardening as a way to ease hunger in her Caldwell County community. It's kind of hard to think about just to know that there's kids that go to my school who don't have supper every night and to me I'm just like I have a snack when I go home from school, I have supper and I'm not hungry when I go home. But they leave school and they know that's their food and that they better suck it up and get over it because they don't get any more food. And that's, that's not right. That's not how it should be. Thank you. Using a spark plug grant from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina, this 4-H member wanted to make an impact by encouraging others to plant a row for the hungry in their own gardens. So it's a $3,000 grant to 11, 11 groups of people in Caldwell County. We were known for making furniture. I mean, we had Broyhill, all the big furniture names. As most people know, they've moved to other places and we were left with a county who had very high unemployment rates and very high need rates in terms of food. Knowing that many of her neighbors struggle to put food on the table and with a desire to engage children, Daniela approached her father, Principal Andy Berry, about starting a garden behind his school at Whitnell the plan sprouted goodwill and interest throughout Lenore. This community has a large heart. It's a giving community to take care of others and to respond. And just it, instead of sitting and wringing their hands, it's a community that's rolling up the sleeves and saying, okay, this is one thing we can do. We have volunteers in their 80s, and then we have our five-year-old kindergartners working together uh, in the garden. I didn't think that this many people would embrace it. I didn't think half these people, when I started this, would be this involved and be here today. Everybody sew, don't sew them all in one spot. The people of Lenore say they find great rewards in gardening for their community. Much of the food finds its way to food crisis agencies across Caldwell County. Um, this particular garden actually has produced uh, quite a bounty. One of the neat things about it is that there's, there's kids that haven't actually eaten fresh vegetables before that are, that are now um, eating fresh vegetables and, and they're, they're bringing stuff home to their family. Rain or shine, the kids enjoy coming out to the garden. For many of them, it's their first time to be around fresh fruits and vegetables. And as they learn to grow their own food, many will be able to provide for their families with the harvest. When the parents come to pick up their children at the end of the day at the wraparound, which is our daycare, and there's a big table with bushels of vegetables that they can bring home. That's, that's a way they can provide for their family. Also just is a great source of pride. And the children always tell me, I brought home green beans last night, or I brought home squash, or I tried kale. And uh, they're just really excited. And the students are not just helping others, but they are learning new habits and trying new foods in an effort to imprint healthy lifestyles on this generation. They try things they never thought they would try. A uh, sugar snap pea, what's a sugar snap pea? Come try a sugar snap pea. And wow, these are really good. 
can I take some home for my family? Of course, let's pick a little bag. And they go home with vegetables that they've never heard of. In a lot of ways, I think gardening has skipped a generation for some of our children. These children are bringing gardening and growing fresh food back to their families. And uh, these children are really empowered by growing their food and providing for their families. I take beans, I do tomatoes, I do all that. I pick beans too. You pick beans too? Okay. Is it fun? And we work together and we're friends always. And we always be nice to each other. Well, you guys are very sweet. You, do you think the garden just brings out the best in people? Yeah. yeah. It's not just the school garden, but with a large community garden, the neighborly effort has gained national attention and put this teenager's passion to do for others in the spotlight. It's the, one of those things where you're like, this garden isn't going anywhere. It's, it's already made an impact in the short time it's been at the school, but we want other schools to have these kinds of gardens in every school so they can experience what it's like to have. This has changed, it's changed the whole dynamic of the school. As you just saw, recently Lenore was featured in Parade Magazine for its community gardening efforts. For more information on how you can plant a row for the hungry in your community, log on to our website.